Welcome back to Road to Fire. We're a family of four documenting our journey to fire, financial independence, retire early. Let's chat about our three-step paycheck routine. I will share details on how we manage each check, what percentage goes to savings, investings, and expenses, and how we manage our money as a couple with our will numbers like always, so please hang with me. Now, we don't have everything automated yet in our paycheck routine. I would love to stop actively budgeting and have things be 100% automated, but two things. First, we always have some unexpected expense that I didn't plan for. Like this month, I forgot, yes, I forgot to pay for my son's school registration fees for next school year. Secondly, we have income that is not 100% consistent. Our passive income from our rental adjusts based on expenses, consulting income changes based on projects, and then we have a few side hustles that sometimes we do and sometimes we don't do. Also, I don't know why, but I am a bit type A with the budget, so I am not ready to, in a sense, let it go. That's the goal, but not for this month. But our baseline savings is automated. We have the majority of our stocks in Vanguard, and I have set up automatic investments that go directly into their funds. That's not a problem. We invest into VTSAX across all of our accounts, so I have that set up. But there is a small portion that we have to invest manually due to specific terms within Vanguard. If we are investing in ETFs or individual stocks, we can't have automatic investing, so those transactions are still manual. And for cash savings, we send a portion of our paychecks right into the savings account, and this is organized or managed by our companies. So creating a paycheck routine has made budgeting a lot less stressful for us, especially me as I manage our budget in our home. Well, it's because I love it and my husband and I have monthly money check-ins during our date nights, but this simple process on knowing where your dollar goes every month before it hits your account has been a game changer for us. Okay, so what is a paycheck routine? I love this definition from Experian. A paycheck routine maps out where every dollar of your paycheck goes. It's a strategy designed before payday with a budget and plan to cover your bills, savings goal, and discretionary spending. Essentially, it's a paycheck plan. Or it's a proactive plan for your dollars. We just started incorporating this in our budget planning, like this past month. We are really trying to simplify and making money management much easier for us. But like everything in personal finance, a paycheck routine is customizable. You may follow the 50-30-20 rule, you may pay yourself first and strive to save 50% of your income, or you might not have a paycheck routine at all. But we designed one that works specifically for us based on our long-term financial goals and our plan to hit fire within five years. Now, it's a new routine for us and we are still going through the kinks, but we hope this new routine will work with our budget and overall simplify things for us. So we can manage our money in three simple steps because of how we manage our money as a couple. Now there are three basic ways to manage your money as a couple. There is no wrong or right way to manage your money as a couple, but there are pros and cons to each version. We found what works best for us. First type is joint, and that is where all accounts are shared and money usually flows into one main account. Now this one account is used to manage all the financial needs from savings to expenses to discretionary income. Now type two is separate. Usually accounts are separate and bills are split between the couples through a percentage rule or based on income. For example, you pay 60% of the bills and I pay 40%. Accounts are usually within individual names and managed at the individual level. Now the last option and probably the most common is hybrid, a mixture of both. This is when some accounts are joined but each individual still has an account or maybe two solely in their own name. Maybe for personal expenses or personal allowance, but I've seen couples do all versions. But for us, we've always had 100% joint accounts. His money is our money and my money is our money. For budgeting and tracking purposes, this has made things very easy. Even if our incomes are not close or one is making much more than the other, we have always seen having joint accounts as the easiest way to manage our money together. Comment below how you manage your money if you are in a relationship. So step number one after we receive any paycheck is to send 30% to savings. We average about $20,000 a month in income, so this would be about $6,300 in savings every month. Ideally, we'll have our savings be 100% automatic, but if an unexpected expense arises, we take from our savings first versus our emergency fund. Comes to saving, we are partially automatic. We automatically send a set amount of dollars to our brokerage account each month and for our children's education funds. Then I will manually send additional dollars to our brokerage account to top us off to be around 30% based on how our budget is rolling in. It's not a perfect science yet. Right now, investing is our priority, 
and we have a goal to invest $50,000 of after-tax dollars into the market. So our 30% is divided into both investing and savings. 80% goes into the savings with the majority going into our after-tax brokerage account within Vanguard, and this is our bridge account to FIRE. And then 20% goes into our emergency fund as we plan to get this to one year or $100,000. We are always starting with saving, but I'm not going to lie, hitting this 30% has been a challenge so far this year. What is a balanced savings goal to hit? I mean, we could always save more, but at what cost? I always struggle with this. What is a true real target for savings? I've seen 20%, but okay, what is next? 25% or 30%? Now I grabbed 30% out of nowhere. I wanted to keep pushing us, but maybe we have hit our personal wall. Maybe I'm pushing too much. I know the feeling of budget burnout, and we've been there many times, and we've had many arguments over two extra dollars for guacamole, and I don't want to go down that path again. But I know why we're struggling to hit our savings goal. It's because I love experiences, and I love experiencing life now. It's just that simple. We just got back from spring break, and we had a blast. I loved us going to museums, new parks, eating at new restaurants, and we don't go crazy, but there are four of us now, so four flights, accommodations with at least two bedrooms and two baths, and there are unique dietary needs. As everyone knows, kids are very picky, but I don't regret it. But at the end of the month, I see that we are at 28% or 27%, and a part of me is a little disappointed. But we've gotten much better, or I've gotten much better. We book four trips a year. We plan it out at the top of the year. Sometimes we save to go abroad. Other times we take a road trip to a national park. Most times we're traveling for weddings as that's the season we're in right now. But I've never regretted a trip as traveling is a great global learning experience for my kids and for us. But I do track our expenses whenever we travel just to stay within our budget. And of course, we always go over, but nothing too crazy. But I've come to learn that like most goals, we set them to have a target to strive towards, to push us towards. I think hitting it would be great, but having something to work towards is even more important. But to be real, if we didn't have a savings target, I'm sure our road to fire would be our road to nowhere. <laughs> so number two step for us is to send 35% of our paycheck to our credit cards. Now this might sound crazy, but we put all of our expenses or most of our expenses on our credit card. We have a joint credit card or my husband is added onto the card that I have and we use it for every expense from school tuition to date night. Now I'm not a credit card expert so if you have or know of a better card please share the details below in the comments but we love our Capital One Saver card. We get 3% back on restaurants and groceries excluding Target and Walmart of course and entertainment and I believe 1% on everything else. Today we average over $200 a month in cash back. Using one credit card has made it really easy to budget and manage our expenses. Only issue we have is gifts because we can see every transaction so I kind of know what my husband's going to get me ahead of time. But we do pay it off every month and this is the easy way for us to track all of our expenses. The last step is the easiest by far. We keep 35% of our paycheck in our checking accounts. It's just that simple. Now this also might sound strange but we have several bills that can only be paid from bank to bank transfers. Let me clarify, there are credit card options but they charge about 3 to 4% fees and that is something that I'm not willing to pay. To pay these bills, we'll add our bank account and an automatic transfer is paid when it's due. So transactions that fall into this category are our mortgages, my son's school lunch money, which is actually a check that we write each month. I think it's the only check I write monthly. My son's school tuition has also a large fee for using a credit card, so of course we use our checkings account for that transaction. And then our utility bills, not all, but a few only accept checkings or bank account transfers. Ideally, we'll have all of our accounts to be paid for on the credit card, but it is what it is and I'm not willing to pay those fees, not now, not ever. Our checking accounts will look abnormally fat during the month and scale back down to about $200 by the end of the month. We always keep a small buffer just in case unexpected expenses arise. But what are the key benefits of a paycheck routine? There are several, but these are the top three that we hope to benefit from this new process. The first is automation. Once you get a routine outlined for you, you can then begin to automate not only your savings, but bills for the month. This will simplify your budgeting process instantly. We're not there yet, but I hope by the end of the year, as our income becomes more consistent, we'll be able to automate all of our transactions. A paycheck routine also helps decrease spending. When you tell your money where to go before it hits your account, it's hard to overspend. As money moves and shifts to their respective accounts, you become more conscious or aware of what you're spending. Because we have high savings goals, what we spend on our discretionary income becomes very important. 
And number three, a paycheck routine will help us create an active savings plan or automatic savings plan. There are two ways we can do it now. First, we have our employers split our funds into specific accounts, or we can begin to automate on payday. We are currently doing a mix of both right now and hope this will help us reach our savings goals faster. It took a long time to get to this paycheck routine. As a type A person, I still feel a bit weary doing our budget this way. I have always been in the weeds and budgeting every single month, and this will give me space, clear mental space. I've obviously oversimplified our monthly management system because I still have over 20 categories in our budget and an Excel spreadsheet that I update twice a month. This paycheck routine is new and it's our North Star when planning for the month. I know we can do it, but it will take a few months for us to get a hang of things. Because we have no consumer debt, higher income, and large discretionary income each month, we are able to create this simple three-step plan. Things will look differently if we had additional debt to pay off, lower income, and a tighter budget. We've really worked diligently in the last two and a half years, heck even longer to get to where we are today. I am deeply grateful, but I wasn't always appreciative of the process, but now I see its importance. Wish us luck, we might go back to how we managed things before, but I'm hoping this works. A simple three-step paycheck routine will definitely change things for us. Now, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Until next time.